coming back to the issue of our own private isolation and suffering, one of the ways to crawl yourself out of that hole of isolation is to connect with those around you who are experiencing the same kind of suffering. Let's just imagine for the moment that um, this feeling of isolation is actually a lie. It is actually a deception of our human nature. And that let's just assume that actually the truth is, is that we're more connected by our suffering than we are or could ever be separate from each other. And so what we do is we reach out our hearts and our hands to everyone in our city, everyone in our state, everyone in the country, everyone in the hemisphere. And finally, if we can, everyone in the earth that's experiencing the exact kind of suffering that we're experiencing, maybe doing three rounds of breath for each of those concentric circles, drawing that suffering into your heart, transmuting it in the flame of your heart, and then exhaling medicine back out to the people. And so as we do that, we come into our sense of service. And I think every human comes alive to a certain degree when we experience the beauty of being of service. What's hard sometimes is actually receiving. What those of us who are really good at giving aren't often, aren't always as good at receiving. That's a balancing act. And so the next part is that you start drawing yourself back in. Bring that energy back in towards yourself. Bring that medicine, bring that love, bring that connection that you fostered through reaching out. Bring that back into your heart, into your own body, and let that melt the ice around your own feeling of suffering. Let that provide the medicine that you need to come alive, to feel bountiful, to feel hopeful, to feel connected once again.